And here's the thing. Y'all don't get mad at me for saying this. Everything is not the devil's fault. Right. We have blamed so much on the enemy. <laughs> oh, honey, I ain't got no money this week. The devil, the devil took, it, took no, my money. you just don't know how to manage your money. Right. Oh, my body is under attack. No, you eat fried chicken every day of the week. You And you're not exercising at all. You're just out of shape. Right. Oh, my car is not... It's not... The enemy is not... Stop. Yeah. yeah you didn't yeah, get an yeah. oil change. Yeah. yeah. 20,000 miles over. Yeah. You need to get an oil change. Like, so I, and I, right. what I think that does is it takes accountability from the person. And so I, I find myself in these positions where I'm coming to ministry and I know the power of God. I've seen God do things in my life and in other people around me. However, there's still a practical component. So how do we bridge that gap between practicality and spirituality? Hence why we were putting on those events at New Birth, when I was at New Birth for a little bit, where we were talking about soul ties, fleshly desires, yes, pornography, yes. masturbation, because how do we get to a point where we're, we're bridging that gap, yeah. right? Yeah. And having some of those tough conversations. It, 